Hello, welcome back to the spider's web. Uh, what have I got to show you today? Well, it's this. Ta-da! Yes, I've got another one. And in this one, as with the others, it's not. This isn't a proper unboxing. These are new boxes I've got. The new game. Oh, sorry, these are new games I've got. But uh, we're not doing a proper unboxing because I've already opened them and had a look through. So these are just showing you the contents of the new ones. This is Tyranny of Goblins. And as per usual with these games, you get your two leader cards with your morale and leadership points there and your special um, rules for the character. There you go. This is, as you can tell by the name, uh, a goblin based um, a goblin based game. And you've got your usual uh, flyer for the adventure game, the other board games that, uh, that uh, Wizards of the Coast do for the Dungeons and Dragons. And you've got, you've seen the room book before, just different cover. Exactly the same inside. There's no difference at all. Um, the only difference with the the rule books anyway is the the actual front cover. So there we go. You also get usually the double-sided gaming tiles. You get again two large ones sided we've got a dungeon side and an outdoor side I don't know if I mentioned this before but with these if you notice you get different symbols on them these are for terrain so this is to signify tree rocks um, I think that's where you put a, a treasure chest Some more rocks there so Yep, so you've got those two, and you've got the two smaller ones, that's your, your start tile, and well, possibility of two start tiles that one to be honest, depending on whether you're using this as a two, for a two player game or not. Um, you get your cards, not actually open the cards, so let's have a nose it, see what these cards are. As per usual, you get in these, which is rather nice, um, your cards that, inc that, that you can incorporate into the adventure game system. Um, Custom Raven Loft, I think I shared a lot, Legend of Grist. So you can use those in there, that's what they're for. So they can get thrown away. Not thrown away, but they can be put to one side and Put in with the, uh, the other games I've got. These are on the games for. Um, or these are on the cards for this particular game. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in earlier games, but on the bottom you can see a symbol. Um, you can see that there's two colours silver and gold. This is actually, again, if you're using these as. Um, for a two player game. This is basically one faction but you can actually split them into two players. So one would control uh, the characters that are silver and the other would control characters that are gold. So you can you can still use these for a small um, two player game straight out of one box. And again underneath you've got your all your tokens. The rest of my tokens I've got in a plastic tub so they're all together they'll be going in shortly so I'll take those out and place them to one side oops I've just trod on laddie and let's get back to these and then we can see what we've got okay so first of all we get two of this particular model it is a Hobgoblin soldier. Open, you can see that. There we are. Hob 
Goblin Soldier. And this one is a Bugbear Berserker. Next we have an Hobgoblin Sorcerer and we also have Laddie knocking the table <laughs> There's your Hobgoblin Sorcerer Up here we have two models that are the same if I remember rightly from the is it Castle Ravenloft or Legend of Drifts, the uh, Goblin Cutter, is it? Goblin Cutter indeed, yeah. There you are. Ta da! And this would be some form of Wolf Rider. Goblin Wolf Rider. I'm going to these guesses. <laughs> Yeah, it's a goblin on riding a wolf. It couldn't be anything but a wolf rider, could it? <coughs> Why do you say that in Lord of the Rings they were called wergs? Sorry, not Lord of the Rings and the Hobbits they were called wergs, they weren't called wolves. There you go. And this is another one from one of the uh, Adventure System games. It's just a wolf. I think this is from... This would this one be from Castle Ravenloft? I can't remember. But there we are. I think exactly the same model as in there. And we have a Goblin Archer, which again is from the uh, Adventure Game System. One of those. And is this one a Goblin Champion? It's another one from the same, from the thing. Uh, I think this is from Legend of Drist. I don't know, I can't remember. I can never remember which one's which. But uh, we have got one of these in one of those games. Which is why I remember it. This one I definitely know is from Legend of Drist. It's a feral troll. Seem to do much better paintwork on these big figures than they do on the smaller ones. There's a feral troll, and I don't know what this one is. A horned devil. There we go. <coughs> there we are. Okay, so you've got your Horned Devil. So that's Legend of... Not Legend of Drift. That Tyranny of Goblins. Um, for you. Uh, as I say, I'm just, I don't need that. That's rubbish. I can go away. I'll laminate those to go with the other ones. They can go in my tub. I'll pack that away. And I'll show you... This one! Yes, I've got them all now, so far. This one is called Blood of Grunch. Or oh, something on those lines. I do not know how to pronounce this. If anybody knows how to pronounce this properly, please, please, reply, do a video reply and explain how that's pronounced. I've not a clue. So, this obviously is an orc-based faction. And you get your leadership cards again. There you go. Again, exactly the same, exactly the same instruction book for this one as was in the last ones. The only difference being obviously the front cover. That's exactly the same as what. No, it isn't. There's a slight difference to that one. On the other one, it's had a picture of. Uh, was it Drist? That's a different. That's a different one. As if it makes any difference. It's rubbish. 
pound again you get your two big playing tiles your two small playing tiles that act like uh, entrance again they're both double sided as always we get the oops tokens underneath which one place to one side we also get our cards for the adventure game system there so they can go with them ones we have the cards for this game again you've got the gold and silver icons so as I, as I said in the earlier you can use this for a two player game but it's, I don't think it'll be as fun but you know we get on to <coughs> looking at the figures we get two of this particular one and this is a orc drudge there you go big beefy so and so so we get two of those in there And, and this is an orc archer. The difference in style with the orc archer in this to the orc archer that's in um, Wrath of a Shardalon. Um The ones in Wrath of a Shardalon look more like the Urukai from the Lord of the Rings movies, whereas this looks quite reminiscent of uh, a Warhammer, um, a Warhammer orc. Would be. Fantasy or uh, da, 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 40k. Hmm. A slight difference there. And we have a wild boar. No, it's just a boar. Yeah, well, we'll get named that one David Cameron. Only bores me. Yeah. And this one is a Werbore. So it's half man, half boar. Uh, we'll call that one Nick Clegg. So there we go. <laughs> Not only do you get but um, unboxing videos, you get political commentary as well. <sighs> what have we got next? We have an Orc Barbarian. Who looks completely and utterly amazed at something. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's got his big chopper in his hand there. His spikes on his uh, shoulder pelgrims. And this looks. Like some form of shaman, shaman, or whatever, you're gonna, however you pronounce it, orc druid. I'll be nipping down to Stonehenge later. <laughs> there we go. That's the orc druid. And who's this? Orc cleric. Of Grumpsh. Again, please somebody send me a, a video reply to let me know how I pronounce these. G R U U M S H. Grumpsh. If I'm spelling, if I'm pronouncing it right, fine. If not, please let me know. Ugh. And what's this? This is an orc chieftain. There we go. There's your Orc on, on Chieftain. Next, I've got a clue what this is, I can't remember. Weird looking beastie. 
it's uh, an owl bear. Half owl, half bear. Whoever thought these up was either on something. They must be medicated to think of something like this in Alba. I oh, mean, come on. <laughs> I don't imagine this is just an ogre. Yeah. Looks nothing like Shrek, but. Bit of a crevice in the in his arm, which will have to be filled in with a bit of liquid green stuff and repainted. But apart from that, it's quite a nice model. Well, so they seem to do better with the bigger models than they do with the smaller models. I don't know why that is. Now, as you know from previous videos that I've done of the uh, Dungeon Command series. I'm not very enamoured en 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 with the, the figures, the way they're painted. So I've decided this morning that what I'm going to do is, well I started with the House of Cormier ones and I've got all the figures I've got my blue tack out, I've put them onto a board and I've primed them, resprayed them all white. They're going to all be repainted. I'm going to do this because I can use these figures in my adventure system games and I don't see the point of doing, of painting the adventure system ones up and then having these with them because I'd, <laughs> I wouldn't feel happy about it so before I start using the extra cards that you get I'm going to paint them up so they're all going to be repainted and when I do this I think what I'll do is I'll set the camera up and go through some of the painting um, on camera and let you see how I'm doing and that's enough for me so I'll uh, just leave it now and say take care, God bless and bye for now.